Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you know, I was supposed to give you an update of my Diva Cut. Don't worry, I have all the videos, I have all the explanations, I have every, all your answers, I have like all the questions, I have the answers to your questions. Um, Yeah, I went to Karen on my birthday, um, got there, she was busy with the client. Um, after that we chatted um yeah she asked me what style do i have in mind i showed her a picture of a style i had in mind i really wanted the fringe and yeah just stay tuned and watch his videos and everything will be in the videos yeah so but yeah and also i'll share the details of how much it cost and all the details will be in the description box of where you can get karen's number and everything so yeah just stay tuned <music> Okay guys, so this is how the salon look. I got there. Um, this is my hair before I went into the salon. They was offered a coffee when I got there. I took a cappuccino. And yeah, then um, I started chatting to Karen about the hair that I want. And this is where she started cutting like a dry cut. I've learned so many information. I asked her how often we should cut our hair. She told me about every six to eight months. Weeks, sorry. We should trim our ends. Um, she had so much knowledge. Um, as you can see, we're just chatting while she's busy cutting my hair, dry cut. I asked her um, how often we should wash hair. She told me once a week is enough. And I was so excited at this point because you can really see that Karen loved what she's doing. I would also recommend any curly girl that would like to go to get their first diva cut experience by Karen because she's the only certified um, stylist or hairstylist in South Africa that has a certificate for doing the diva um, cut. Um, my experience was good. I wouldn't change it for anything. I wish I, I went sooner. Um, yeah, as you can see, I didn't film the wash, um, the washing of my hair because why? Her assistant Mary wanted me to do the wash like the wash with her like me washing my hair with her because why she showed me how i'm going to do it when i'm like um at home in the shower doing my hair so the, she told me there was three steps the one was um washing the hair with shampoo we actually used this sh a co-conditioner a co-shampoo and we a co-wash so we washed the hair with the shampoo she showed me how starting from the bottom tilting my head down applying uh, guys the amount of product i applied on my hair is so it was so little i think if you experience this method you will probably save on so much product but yeah um starting from the bottom um getting the moisture detangling while you're having the co-wash on your hair and then afterwards she rinsed my hair so she would show me and then she will do it by and i'll do it and then she'll do it afterwards she'll take over by me and then she showed me how to sh um condition my hair Starting from the bottom, also detangling. As you detangle, the moisture is going back out. So that's why we scrunch the hair to um, give that moisture back into the roots and um, creating less frizz. And then I also got a free treatment by um, Karen because it was my birthday. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, and then she styled my hair. And um, she styled my hair soaking wet, like so wet. And then also, yeah... After styling my hair, she applied Chaldon, and then as you can see, she started diffusing my hair. Like, this was the part where she showed me, like, step for step. She diffusing, as you can see, she's opening sections of my hair so that it can really dry. And now you're probably asking, but why she isn't? Why isn't she keeping the diffuser on my hair? Because the reason why it will create more frizz. I'm not frizz, but um, what you call it, shrinkage. It will create more shrinkage. So she just keeping it on um, above my hair, not touching my hair with the diffuser. And also, um, the thing, it was on full speed. The hair dry was on full speed, but medium heat. Um, yeah, so basically I got there. It was a dry cut. A dry cut was taken to the basin to wash the hair. Came back out of the basin to style, put on the products, and now diffusing my hair to get dry. So this is actually what I've learned during this thing and as Corinne is busy I'm just asking a question so that you know I can take this knowledge with me back home so as you can see here she's stretching out the curl because why um 
te, te vies en het got a bit um, dry, so it shrinked a little, and yes, it's just stretching out the curl. So now you probably ask me, how much was a thousand? So for my length, it was a thousand rand, um, which I didn't mind paying because it was like a spoil to myself. It was my birthday that day. And also the knowledge that I've learned, I don't really mind paying that amount of money. Karen is such a lovely person. Her assistant is the mo- the best. She loves what she's doing. Both love what they're doing. And I just, I got there one o'clock. Before one, my appointment was for two. I got there and I left five o'clock. And yeah, this is the close. This is how my look. Here's the finish. Boom. Done. Some photos of the final results. You can go to my Instagram page at Tams and Thomas and also like my Facebook page, um, All Things Curly. Guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment box. Don't, f- don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, like I mentioned, at Tamsandthomas.com. Whoa, dot com. Tams and Thomas. Bye, guys.